Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting ready to go to the Alameda County Fair. And if you're wondering why my hair is wet, it's because I just took a shower. So first, I'm going to just start with some primer. This is an old one that I got from my last job. Next, I'm going to put on this foundation or BB cream that I use. It's from Maybelline. Blend, blend, blend. This is a very light coverage, which I like because after I put on my concealer, then it looks pretty thick anyways. Does that make sense? I hate when my makeup feels cakey and heavy, so the Maybelline BB cream is perfect for me. My concealer is also from Maybelline. The liquid contour I use is also from Maybelline. It's the same thing as my concealer, but like a darker shade, of course. Now I'm going to bake everything in place with this Laura Mercier setting powder. Now I'm just wiping off the bake. Next I'm going to be putting on this L'Oreal blush. I swear the way I do things are so out of order, but this is the way I'm used to doing my makeup. I like a lot of blush. Now I'm just going to go over my contour with this Hoola blush. I'm going to be using the same bronzer to contour my nose. I use this Artist Couture highlight to highlight my nose off of camera. I will be using this Benefit Brow Dip to do my eyebrows. Now I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brow gel for my eyebrows. For my eyeshadow, I'm just going to be using this Naked Heat palette that I've been using every day since high school. Just going to go for a very basic neutral look today. I'm going to be aligning my waterline using this Maybelline Brown Eye Pencil. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, that was pretty easy. I'm just going to smoke out that eyeliner with more eyeshadow. I know you guys are going to think that I'm holding this so weird. Now I'm just going to do my eyeliner using this KVD eyeliner. This is the hardest part of the entire look.
Your side is the easiest. It's matching the other side. That's the hard part. <laughs> My sister's airing hole closed. So I need to help her puncture it. Can you see it in the back? I mean, it's hard for me to do with my nails. Oh, God. Does it hurt? No. Did there you go? I felt it. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Scary. Okay, now I'm just going to try to do the other side. I swear this side is longer, but this side is thicker. Can you guys tell? Okay, now I'm just gonna do the inner corners. Okay, I tried my best. I had to do it off camera because it was too difficult to do on camera. I'm just going to set my face using this Maybelline setting spray. Now I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to be using this Chanel mascara. Lashes time. Lashes literally fix everything. Like when my eyeliner is uneven or if my eyeshadow is ugly, like the eyelash literally just covers everything. before and after I'm going to be lining my lips using this Sephora lip liner I always overline my lips slightly. My lipstick is this one from Sephora. It's called Brunch Date. Okay, this is the finished makeup look. This is my everyday makeup look. For hair, I'm just going to put my hair into two braids. I don't want to do anything too complicated today. I just finished with my hair. I decided to add this ribbon to it to try to make it more cute and girly. I'm not really sure what I want to wear today. I want to dress comfy, but also cute and girly. So I'm planning on wearing this Forever 21 collared shirt. I had to take off the hair ribbon because it kept getting loose and undone. And I don't want to have to deal with it all day. I am going to be wearing this pleated skirt from Shein. Just going to be adding this Vivian Westwood belt to spice things up a little bit. And I'm going to be carrying my Balenciaga bag today. I'm going to be wearing these ruffly socks because I feel like it adds to the preppy vibes. And lastly, for shoes, I'm going to be wearing these Adidas Sambas just because I know we're going to be walking a lot today. This is my complete outfit for today. I decided not to wear the Vivian Westwood belt because it was way too big for me, so I'm going to have to punch more holes in it. I kind of hate this outfit. I feel like Wednesday Adams. We just parked and right now we are headed into the fair. Y'all do not understand how hot it is right now. It has to be over 100 degrees. I'm so hungry and I've been starving myself all day for this. 
Our first stop was this food stand called Outlaw Burgers. I ordered a smash burger and some onion rings. And my total was $38, which is a bit expensive for burgers. The onion rings were okay. There was nothing particularly special about them. I didn't necessarily love the burger just because it was so soggy and so wet and difficult to eat. But this is probably the best food we had the whole day. After lunch, we decided to check out these little critters. What if I pet it? We saw so many bunnies and so many cute little hamsters. They were all for sale and I really wanted to take home a bunny. Are they breeding them? I was super thirsty so I got this strawberry lemonade for $10. This tasted like straight sugar and no lemon. This Twisted Cup slushy was also $10 and I hated this one even more. Just tasted like water and sugar. Then we watched some live horse racing a motocross show and some Alaskan pig racing since I didn't really like any of the drinks I previously got I just got a water and then we watched the medieval night stunt show I was kind of craving tacos so I decided to get tacos from Mama Martinez this was probably the most fairly priced food at the entire fair because $22 for three tacos and a water is not bad at all. However, I'm upset because they gave me the wrong meat, but it wasn't too bad. I still ate it. After we ate, we went to see some more animals. Then we headed over to see the 4th of July drone show. The sunset is so pretty today. You can't really tell but look how dusty my shoes are. The drone show was definitely the coolest show of the entire day. I know these drone shows are super common these days but I've never seen one before. And it's so crazy and so cool in real life. I'm sad I didn't get to eat as much as I wanted to because I wasn't feeling too well this day. There were so many food places that I wanted to try, but maybe next year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.